guys, I'm here with another video, give you a little update on how things have been going over the last few months. We've had the system running for about 100 or so days, and um, here to give you some input on what we've learned. So when we first had the system turned on, we were like staring at the app constantly, trying to figure out what uses energy in the house, and honestly, we were, we were focused so much on how much we were producing, how much we were using, where was our battery at at different times of the day, all kinds of stuff. We were like total data junkies just watching the app constantly. After a couple months, that kind of toned down a little bit. We don't do that quite as much anymore. We've kind of fallen into a groove. Um, some of the things we discovered is that we try to do um, the high energy intensive things like doing laundry, using the oven, baking, stuff like that during the peak sun hour. So we're using the energy that we're producing rather than having to pull from the battery in the evening. So um, we've just, we've kind of just played around with a lot of stuff. Like what, what's the best optimum way to use the system? So about a month into having the system running, we obviously had COVID-19 hit and we're, we've been in shelter in place. So we've been kind of using the system a little differently than we maybe would in under normal circumstances. Um, we used to, prior to having the solar roof, we would do, we would charge the cars at night. But since we've been home and we're generating lots of energy during the day, we've been charging the cars during the day for a few hours every day, rather than having to potentially pull from the grid because the batteries only hold so much juice and cars pull a lot more than the batteries hold. So um, if we were to charge o overnight, like we did previously, um, we would most likely be pulling from the grid, but we've been pretty lucky. We haven't had to pull from the grid more than like maybe once or twice. It's um, been kind of nice to be off grid completely for all of our electricity needs. Um, we did have, so living in the Bay Area, we don't really use our air conditioning that much. We did have a heat wave a couple weeks ago where we did actually have to turn on our air conditioning and we used a lot of energy that day, I must say. We will probably, if we if we get to the point where we have to use our AC a lot more frequently, we'll probably look into getting a more efficient AC unit. But for now, it's not that big of a deal. We don't use it that often, so not a problem. So during, I think, the first or second major heat wave we've had so far this summer, um, we did have a power outage from PG&E, and it was interesting because we really wouldn't have known except for we got an alert on our app that said off the grid. And we were totally off grid, had no issues. We didn't run out of power. We had been running the air for a lot that day and done, doing laundry, so our batteries weren't really fully charged. Um, so we kind of conserved a little bit. Like we still had the lights on and stuff, but we definitely didn't like run the oven or anything because we didn't want to like run out of energy in our batteries and have to actually be out of power. So, um, but it was, it was pretty cool. We got an alert when the power came back on, but otherwise it was just like normal business for us. It was kind of cool being completely off grid, like literally off grid, like no chance of backup from the grid. So, um, but it was fun. So overall, we've been very satisfied with Tesla's customer service. Uh, a few days after the system was turned on, we had some issues with the power wall. We reached out to them, they sent a tech out, issue was fixed pretty quickly. Um, we've no, had no other issues. And now we're going to show you some data about the first 100 days. So it's been kind of fun having one of the first solar glass roofs in the Bay Area. We were featured in Tesla's Q1 earnings report, and we were also featured in the 2019 Tesla impact report. Um, the impact report, the picture was a little bit photoshopped, had kind of different roof lines, but it's still our house, it's kind of cool. Um, Bloomberg did an article on us. It was pretty cool to have that done too. Um, it's, it's been, overall, it's been really fun. Um, 
So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all our videos. We love the comments. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and use our referral link if you want to buy a Tesla car or solar roof. And we'll see you later. Bye.